we have that in common. Uh, my father's a preacher, right? So being raised in ministry is something that, you know, we can, we can honestly say we've both been dipped in the blood yes. from the cloth. Yes. Now, I don't know what your experience was, but my experience was church was a day. Yes. It wasn't just an event, you know no. what I mean? Uh, I think we're, my question, and I don't, I don't mean to be political. I don't, no, I don't, I honestly, respectfully, I could care less about politics. Mm -hmm. uh, because for me, I just want a better day for my sons and my daughters. And when I look at it, my vote goes to the person who can inspire change, mm -hmm. right? What do you need or, or, or what would you say is missing in the campaign right now? Or what would you like uh, more of uh, where you are um, in the election? So you hear about this enthusiasm gap. There is an enthusiasm gap. There's a trust gap. Mm -hmm. People don't trust that politicians are going to do what they say. They don't trust that things are going to change. And what I want people to do is to trust one more time. I want them to look at my record. Look at what I did in the four years when I didn't have the job. Look at what I did for the 15 years before I ran for the job. My life has been about how do we help make lives better for other people. And even if you aren't into politics, I remind people, you may not be into politics, and I don't mean you, but right. I, I hear young people, oh, I'm not into politics. Well, politics is into you, and politics is a stalker. Right. <laughs> it's going to find you. It's going to figure out what your child is doing. And it's going to decide whether your son has real opportunities or not. It's going to decide whether your mom, when she gets sick, can go to a doctor or not. I want to be governor because I want to make certain that some of these things that we shouldn't have to focus on ourselves actually get solved. And right. so I need people to trust that there really is a path. What we've been missing, at least for the last 20 years in Georgia, sometimes has been a person who actually sees us. Right. And so I'm talking to everyone. There's been a lot of conversation about me reaching out to black men. I reach out to black men because they have legitimate concerns and values that aren't addressed. And I want people to know I'm not taking you for granted. I don't take the Latino community for granted or black women for granted or white women for granted. I don't take anyone for granted. My mission and is to meet people where they are. And so what I need, one, I need people to read more about who I am and mm -hmm. what I've done. Two, I need them to make a plan to vote. Mm -hmm. uh, because even if you don't think it'll work, just try it one more time. Right. Uh, because when it does work, it changes things. And if you don't vote for yourself, vote for the person who doesn't understand they even have the right to imagine more. Vote for that child who is growing up in a community that may or may not value them. So even if you don't believe it for yourself, believe it for someone else for a moment. And then I need folks to just remember that this election is going to change the, the next 20 years of our lives. I mean, we, you know, four years can change a lot. Yes. And I need We've people seen to, that yes. firsthand. Yeah. <laughs> and so I need folks to understand that these four years at the state level will be the decision about what kind of liberties we have. Mm -hmm. We've got someone who currently has the job who does not believe in a woman's right to choose. He has been intentional about taking racial, basically making it hard to teach the truth to our students, mm -hmm. to our kids. He has refuse to invest money in healthcare, even though we've paid the money and he won't spend it. He hasn't tackled the tough issues. And if you're okay with those decisions, then you should stay home right. or vote for him. But if you believe that we deserve more, then vote for someone who's willing to do more and who has proven that she'll do it. Right.